Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Hannah. And today we're going to be talking about net ionic equations. First, when you're talking about net ionic equations, it's important to remember the ions that actually form the precipitate from the aqueous solutions. Okay, when we're looking at our chemical equation, the first thing we want to do is separate everything into ions that is aqueous. So, if we look at the first one, we have our Ag, which has a positive charge, and that's aqueous, plus our NO3, which has a negative charge, is also aqueous, plus our potassium, has a plus one charge, also aqueous, and our chlorine ion that has a negative charge. When we're writing down our products, we want to make sure we keep the solid together. It does not separate into its ions. So we write our AgCl solid plus our K has a positive charge, and it's aqueous, plus our NO3 with a negative charge, and it is aqueous. And the next thing you want to do is um, look at our spectator ions, or our ions that aren't involved in making the solid. And if we look at our equation here, we see that we have our K on both sides of the equation, and our NO3 ions. These are going to be our spectator ions not involved in the net ionic equation. So for the net ionic equation we just want to write down what makes the solid. So we're going to write down our Ag plus and it's aqueous plus our chlorine also aqueous and it goes to our solid. And that covers net ionic equations. And who said chemistry wasn't fun? Thank you for watching.